Hello everyone, Monday 16 October. So I just been just finished s sweeping all the ashes. It has been a terrible weekend with high temperatures and forest wild forest fires going on all over the country. So lots and lots of criminal hand on it for sure but that's a totally different story the balance now is something like 31 deaths so adding up to the 65 in early June really the hell has come down on us so but not all is bad news just received this very and weighted um, piece of equipment hardware it's a smooth Q gimbal and probably I'll be mispronouncing but uh, the actually manufacturer brand is Zium Zium smooth key Q this says free access uh, gimbal very powerful in terms of uh, features and also it has a very good battery something like 12 milli um, 12,000 milliamperes so 12 amperes hour and it lasts for ever it lasts for a good time so got the yellow stamp that goods not fulfilling the conditions laid down blah 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 and because yes it has a caution lithium ion battery because of the battery on the in the on the handheld of the gimbal itself okay so at to came from a special route and actually it was quite fast enough I mean it was ordered on September 14th and arrived today the 16th of October so not bad and the best part of it it went through Netherlands post post NL and got delivered this morning via the express mail service or something like that from the Portuguese mail CTT and that's not all the part the good part of it the good part is that it didn't get intercepted by customs way that's super I was a little bit worried regarding that because given it costed and wait for it it costed 85 euros yes I said it right and you heard it right instead of the regular 118 it cost me with the, the a coupon that was active at the time it cost me something like and I was trying to uh, hide the my postal address and yet I did end up showing it so I was saying that yeah 85 euros so something like 99 dollars uh, something actually $99 uh, instead of the 139 that's the regular price you find not only in Gearbest but a little bit around everywhere well except if you pay 169 euros in FNAC in Portugal right Tiago yeah so 85 deal, uh, dollars 85 dollars 80 oh no 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 85 uh, euros so that's 
less than half of the price currently being asked for the recommended retail price or whatever price it is being practiced in Portugal of 169 euros yeah 169 so uh, 85 no actually half of it right so 85 it would be 170 correct and it cost uh, and 169 is just one single dollar one single euro um, below the double of the price that you had to pay here in Portugal so here it is beautiful just the way you are okay smooth Q you have a serial number here Zium you have also the info related to the app to the app uh, also clearly stating that you can charge your mobile or whatever piece of equipment you are using to record I would like the camera to zoom in to zoom in to focus focus please um, instant manual zooming control well with mobiles you only get optical zoom so better not uh, but you can use other equipment 12 hours continuous work time so the 12 million pairs 12,000 million pairs gives something like 12 hours of gimbal operation well you're not expecting to be using the motors all the time correct and it, atal it allows um, the horizontal and vertical stand of the mobile or whatever equipment you may use you get the regular USB car uh, the USB cable and the world world the smallest violin case in the world it's something like that move like movies so it's not move like Jagger it's move like movies made in China and then you have the QR code for the Zoom app that actually works with smooth key Q and all the other um, the GD and other cranes and um, pieces of equipment from Zium. So just a note that Zium it's all about this equipment so they actually don't manufacture anything else this so they are kind of the uh, DJI type only for specialized and for this uh, kind of um, stabilizers uh, so gimbals and the like uh, photo equipment professional video recording equipment so this is kind of uh, semi-professional it's more domestic uh, grade if you ask me I don't want I don't pretend to be a professional I'm not I'm just an amateur enthusiast of this stuff and actually was needing one of these because uh, Xiaomi is taking forever to have their own release manufactured by Femi Femi whatever the ones that actually bring us or offered us um, the Midron. So, are you ready for this? Dun 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 dun. Here you go. There you go. The violin. Hmm. It doesn't smell like China. It smells like, well, new. Inside the box, you also have the user guide version 1.2. So the new one compared with 1.1. <laughs> I don't know about whatever versions there are out there and you also have some strap here for the carrying case for sure and a flat branded CU USB cable so the regular um, micro C no micro C is the new one the regular the regular one very good very nice let's then take a look at 
reviewed and I got the lucky zero for control quality control reviewer thank you so much for that I hope that you have done a good job and I hope I don't have any issue at all no problems with uh, the gimbal given that I am not in China and you know it's always a gamble when you buy stuff like this over the internet but it is what it is and you just have to play along so take your chances that's the only way you're going somewhere in life right else you'll be stuck forever in the same place and I was trying to find a way to open it this plastic is just plastic I know but I'm not I don't intend to return it right so it's not exactly something that you buy in Jumbo or Continent or Pingos whatever you must be very careful because if something is not correct and you'd like to return it it's better not to have any uh, major scratches or stuff like that that prevents the the product to be in a sold and uh, sold sellable huh? sellable yeah state so let's open the worldest no the world's smallest violin case in the world ZU smooth Q and are you ready Ta -da! There you go. I chose I chose the black one. I actually prefer it compared with the gold and even the metallic gray. Okay, this is plastic, not metallic or that kind of feels. Hey, it's working. No, not yet. But at least it's not stuck. <laughs> and there you go. You have the this is actually to charge the gimbal the USB charging point this is the stick to uh, move up down left right uh, the gimbal the mode up down whatever vertical uh, horizontal etc start stop the recording and also the gimbal of course and zoom out zoom in for the, when operating with the app and here you have the mobile or whatever equipment charging point and a 1.4 uh, mount point for an I other already order uh, a stick with the, the base to, to to mount this on and also a monopod so that you can a monopod that you can uh, shoot and do um, low level and do elevations and okay I'm going to stop the recording now because I'm going to get it uh, charging charged until I always do I never use an, uh, any equipment right from the um, as it is from uh, as it is sent although the, it comes with some charging uh, charge level that enables to operate it without damage but even so I like to give a full charge of it and then I'll get back to you and confirm how is it going uh, just before so let me see you should be able there you go uh, luckily I'm recording so I can always recheck and see how it fits in just a final note for quick rounds of the book yes in English yay so you have information regarding the package list and also the usual warnings of course I'm going to read all of these every single character battery use prevent the batteries to come into contact with any kind of liquid thank you so much battery charging do not attach the batteries to a wall outlet or 
car charger socket directly always use as you approve the data for charging huh? yeah right you sent one yeah you did so no <laughs> you're going to charge directly with any <laughs> USB charger around um, also how to store the battery these are 100% um, regular or out of the you know copy paste instructions from all the products and then you have information on how to know your smooth queue how to attach the mobile and get it uh, with a good grip the mobile clamp and um, the roll axis also so you have the four different uh, engines here motors better set the shifter level for the zoom also the information regarding this couple of LEDs here this one is the status indicator and this one is the battery level when this one starts blinking you should charge your Zhiyun smooth Q and this is um, the status so what is doing joystick and yeah pretty much what I mentioned it allows something like or better said the payload that the actual equipment that is going to be stabilized should be should wait between 75 grams and 200 so if you place some GoPro that weights less than, less than 75, 75 grams it won't do a proper job don't try to place anything on it with more than 200 grams because you you, you get the extra effort in the motors and damage the equipment and it won't be able to stabilize the footage at all okay are you charge it mobile charging are you charge it and then the app so I will recommend to go directly into the app and play around with the settings because not only you need it for to calibrate the gimbal but also to adjust the speeds because from what I've seen it comes with some high high speeds that moves way too fast for my taste so I'm going to slow it down to levels that give it a more um, cinematic feeling slow uh, slow movement okay this is very easy to operate nothing special just place it there and when it reach a level that is uh, give or take um, balanced you just uh, adjust and fix that value right how to power on off so when you get the battery indicator uh, flashing something like one time it means that the uh, battery level is really low 1 to 25 percent and if it flashes two times when you turn it on it's between 25 26 to 50 percent again you can see all of that information the precise value in the app when you connect it Bluetooth to the app you'll see all the values uh, to the precise number uh, of charging of the, the value of charge uh, all there okay and also how to do firmware firmware upgrade and calibrate etc all right again uh, some screenshots of the app and how to use it the main features uh, namely the calibration and the cable setting screen and also how to activate the tracking so you can actually track yourself when recording or some object and I intend to buy actually this um, remote control so it's a white one that you can carry in your pocket uh, when you are not uh, with you when you have the gimbal in uh, some tripod or away from you and this is the other one so this is a ch way cheaper one than compared with the one uh, with the bit zero two I haven't seen that much difference that justifies uh, one or the other both at zooms both have the, the main features of controlling um, and the range is the same it's the Bluetooth one and again some quick 
specs how to initialize the stabilizer so a better all explicit in this in this position to do it uh, when you 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 start it and then or and especially when you're calibrating okay and some uh, product specifications it doesn't do 360 degrees uh, tilt roll or pan only pan the tilt and roll it's limited to 320 but it serves perfectly you don't need 360 right and yep pretty much it warranty period of course one year uh, and you have 15 days to return it <laughs> yeah correct uh, so you have also lots and lots of QR codes to go to the website Google Plus Facebook we chat and YouTube oh it was zero two hmm so actually passed several controls and there you go Zeon smooth Q user guide version 1.2 and the actual product so mm -hmm, I have a meeting now Ooh -ooh. okay so 20 minutes more than enough for unboxing okay see you after when I have this charge and do a quick test of it. Thank you.